New at 10, it was graduation day for the Rogers County Sheriff Office's Youth Cadet Academy. 15 cadets in the 9th through 12th grades got a taste of what it's like to be in law enforcement. Fox 23's Kaylee Carnine is live in Claremore Forest tonight after attending the graduation ceremony where they really talked about the challenges and rewards, Kaylee, of being in this field. Yes, Rogers County deputies tell me it can be hard to find qualified candidates and it can be a very competitive process when hiring, but this academy was a great way to excite the next generation. This week, Rogers County Sheriff Youth Cadets got a snapshot of what life in law enforcement is like. There were so many highlights, shooting simulations, shiny new commemorative challenge coins, and certificates proclaiming their graduation status from the Youth Academy. We found out this, uh, this day camp was coming around. I wanted to do it, so we applied and I got in and I was very happy about it. But it also showed real challenges being in law enforcement. I spoke with Bronson Smith, the administrative captain with the Rogers County Sheriff's Department. When he started 12 years ago in law enforcement, they told his cadet class within four years of entering this career, only 25 to 30 percent would still be in the field. For law enforcement in Oklahoma, actually uh, compensates their officers very well. However, uh, current law enforcement isn't where you go to make a lot of money. That's not what it's about. That's that's something that they should know going in. He says it's about helping the community and having a sense of duty. This youth academy planted seeds in the next generation to show the importance of a job in law enforcement. Leo Holt, a youth cadet, knows that a job in law enforcement can present challenges, but he's interested in making a career out of it to honor his grandpa who passed away. This is something I like to do and kind of want to follow in his footsteps. And uh, just being in a state where I could protect my community from harm and stuff is like really, really like important to me, I'd say. And the organizers of this academy say it's re-energizing to see this kind of enthusiasm in these young men and women. Reporting live from Claremore, Kaylee Carnine, Fox 23 News.